Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, uh, what I need switched? to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Ooh, our little secret. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Oh yeah, let's do this. Okay, if you guys don't know, last episode we went through the whole background of people dying with dragons and killing statues and shit. We also switched a um, combat feature. Hopefully it's a little smoother now. And in the last episode, I was going to say I was going to do evil Hufflepuff run because I know everyone wants to play Slytherin Phineas, and Jealous, Gryffindor. Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to ready. join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Nice so one get to eat. Okay, but like I'm saying, everyone's gonna play Slow the Rand. Professor or... Weasley! Okay, never mind. I'm We've shut one up more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Uh, I want to explore, but I want to learn stuff. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm. What is it? Magic. <laughs> Daring, curiosity, loyalty, ambition. Uh, let's go curiosity. A desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. Mm. You're clever indeed. Okay. Whatever this is going to be at the end, we're still going to have to go help a puzzle, right? Like I said, I want to do evil help a puzzle, right? Puzzles, others. Everyone's going to do a whole bunch of like Gryffindor, Quick to learn. Slytherin runs. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Oh hell no! Ravenclaw. Uh uh. Give me a Hufflepuff, bro. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Oops. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Better be Hufflepuff! Let's go, baby. I really want to do a Slytherin, but like I said, I know everyone's going to do a Slytherin, man. I love the color green and the Slytherin house is lit as F, but let's go black and gold for the Hufflepuff. I know Hufflepuff is bullied by everybody, but you know what? Oh, and I'm done getting bullied, more right? Thing. Which is why we're going Due to the, to the unfortunate side. injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. This guy. Enough 
It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Oh, oh they want them to do. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their comment? Weasley? Comedy? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Sounds nice like to meet you as well, way. Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Okay, also, I haven't really seen the houses or like uh, how it looks. It's quite like. uncommon for a All I know is a Slytherin house is like underwater or something. Or it looks work, all blue. But I'm sure that's never stopped you. Or is that Raven? It hasn't, Professor. I don't know, man. <laughs> now. Here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. What? To the bottom, left and right, and Hufflepuff? was a lot easier than uh, I thought. Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. Did she say bottom I row or middle row? To collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor. Well, if this was You're me, welcome. I would get doused in vinegar all the time. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Look at that beautiful school. I wonder if they get free tuition or if they got to pay. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Okay. Let's go catch up. Let's go see what's happening around here. And this is a beautiful play. Okay. Put like a, oh, okay. Let's take a nice look at this Hufflepuff room. So this is what looks nice. This is what it looks nice. Looks like very nice. Uh, kind of reminds me of a Hobbit. Like a hobbit living room or something. Pretty lady. Looks like there's a few things to interact with. Maybe we gotta I gotta talk to this chick. Oh hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. Bring it. I'm really scared. not worried. I'm sure I'll be fine. Nevertheless, it is rather unusual. You must feel terribly out of place. Of course, presumably as a hardworking Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hardworking too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. Just choose wit. it, dude. I just chose it. <laughs> At I least people have Ravenclaw. always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. I'm not talking. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. All right, we gotta go meet Arthur. What, how do you say that? Adela? Oh, Adela Lee? Adela Lee? Uh, Adela I can't quite reach. Uh, come on. You went that way. Hope they can catch him. Oh, shit, Be dude. That, guy, that guy's face is cat. scary. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. 
Dude, beasts are amazing. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. All right, let's go talk to this uh, Anna mm. Adelie. Yeah. Adelie Day. Adelie Day. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. Oh, she's not like she's in trouble. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure Adelaide. Adelaide. Nice what the hell did I say earlier? Is everything all right? <laughs> oh, what did oh, I yes. say earlier? I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me. I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? Yes, I was. That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's How does dreadful. everyone know that actually happened? Well, That's I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Uh, okay, she's kind of cute, so we'll see what she needs with her uncle. Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Right, Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course, and good luck. Okay, so we talked to Hufflepuff everyone out we bed yet? to already. Professor Weasley's, Weasley's waiting for them outside the Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Nice. Here you are. Oh great, now all my pages are ripped. I just lost like six what pages is there. It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. <laughs> I should just disappear. Thank you, Professor. But what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Is your skill Perhaps tree? seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. All right, sure. Let's go. All right, so basically, if I skipped it forward, all that just happened was a whole bunch of cutscenes that explain how to use my map and how to use, like, fast travel points. Um, and then it, it we got to choose between dark arts or, like, charm class. So we're gonna go dark arts because in the last episode I end up switching the combat to make it feel a little bit different because it was kind of clunky. So we'll see if it feels a little bit better now. Is that all you've got? Uh, Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Kind of cocky, but I like it. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? 
A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. this. Levioso. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise. Levioso. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> shut I your ass up. Fair duel, using only Levioso, basic cost, and Protego. You may begin. <laughs> this. Levioso. <laughs> Lucky. Nothing lucky about lucky, it. Lucky, huh? Lucky, huh? What is going to be your first duel? Let's just say I'm a... Protego. Protego. Complicates things. I do enjoy a life in duel. Use the basic cost when your opponent's guard is down. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> Look at my smug ass smile, bro. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. I'm then again, bro. perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I know nothing. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Let's exclusive go. and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? 
We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. I'm tempted. Till next running. time. Okay, let's see what else we need to do. Because I want to get my broom. That's what I want to do. Okay, let's do the charms class. Because I would like to go and get my broom. And once we get our broom, we'll go and do the dark arts. Like, you know, super evil challenges. The dueling or whatever. He just said, let's see our outfit. Oh, dang, I'm running around my pajamas. Can we talk about this? Dude, I even got the little butt flaps. Ah! Let's go. My tidy whitey. Professor Ronan like tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind them to finish the lesson. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. <laughs> Bro, I feel my tiny whiteies like I woke Hello, up late for class. I and I just rushed so you over. Are the new student. For the record, have you, you I Professor still have Ryan? nightmares <clears throat> of like not studying for my exams. And here I am playing a Shall freaking game where I'm <laughs> going to class. To year like, five what, what, of is, what is going now, on? This will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Oh, this is mm. good. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, dude. By the looks of it, you have nightmares about going to class and it's like on a one quiz another. out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you no even remember it. how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Akio. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day. Dude, look at me, my tidy whities We might have ourselves a little oh excursion. I have my tidy whities on, a of fresh but I have air. a scarf and gloves. Like, what the hell? After me! <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so. What better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish Akio charm at the last. Splendid! Stay focused. Oh. That's it! Okay, so I don't have to hold on to the button. Very good! Don't lose your 
I, I don't have to hold on to the X button. Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new students a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay, are we starting? Let us see this. Oh, that's pretty good. There we go. Let's see if I can win this. Akio. Oh, it happens to the best of us. What's this? Okay, we got we got released a little earlier. We're gonna get fifties right now. That is how it's done. All fifties. Damn, baby. Excellent me. control there. Here we go. <laughs> can I knock hers out? Let's try. Let's see if I can knock hers out. Yes. Aha. Oh, I didn't knock hers out. Brilliant. Like yeah. They didn't even let her miss one. It's so whatever. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? What, what are you doing now? Oh, uh, moving blocks? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Okay, I'm gonna try knocking her out. Enough this time chatter. Too. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. There we go. Akio. Fifty. Fifty, baby. That's it. Watch this. She's playing a save. Stay, stay. Oh, not to worry. This I gave her points. Knock two. I gotta knock two. Yes. Come on, do, do the one thing, dude. Akio. Oh, I didn't knock out. Oh, they're so close to knocking out. So is mine. Damn. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. All right, nice to meet you, dude. Well, Come on, let me get, nice let me get my, uh, and competing with you. My broom, dude. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Until next time, homegirl. Of course. Cool. You A word, if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. 
I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Okay. So we completed one out of the four main quests? <laughs> if that's what I said. Hello there. Blue flames discovered. Okay, so we just need to like show up in the spot and we'll get it. Cute cat, but try to do our main quest real quick. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah. There you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? No, 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 no. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. God damn it. More work, bro. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. Hey, You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd, I'd like to Sebastian. go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Butterbeer. All right, so off we go. We're going to have a team up with Sebastian here. Go get our freaking new wand. I'm super excited about that. Um, we're going with Sebastian because he is the dueling guy. So hopefully we end up ha like getting in a fight more people or something. Um... But if that's going to happen in the next episode. You guys are going to get to see me choose my wand. If you guys want to see, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoy this. Peace.